And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes, and I am back with another tier list for you guys. So, today we're going to be talking about the small forward position in NBA 2K21, my team. Shout out to everybody who came through for the premiere of the shooting guard tier list this morning. I definitely appreciate you guys. Even the people who didn't show up and watched it later, I appreciate you guys. It doesn't really matter. But let's get the parameters out of the way before we get into it. Let's talk about the tiers. S tier, unquestionable best cards in the game. A tier, right there with S tier guys, but they may have like one or two issues that I'll talk about that keeps them out of S tier, or they're just all together not as good as the S tier guys. B tier, very usable cards. You know, a vast majority of the community are going to use guys in like B tier for the most part. Maybe not this position specifically because it is super top heavy, which you'll see. Um, C tier, guys who are like, meh, they're usable in a certain way or they're just kind of outdated you'll see a lot of your old favorite cards in there d tier specialist guys maybe they do like one or two things really well and i'll talk about that as well or they're good for like a couple game modes or like a limited run or something of that nature f tier you should probably upgrade but i mean if you really like the card itself then i'm not gonna like hark on you for using it for certain things but when it comes to like competitive play absolutely not and trash tier cards that just generally speaking you should not be using anymore at this point now we're only talking about primary position small forward so guys like danny ferry that play power forward slash small forward but a vast community or percentage of the community uses as a small forward they'll be over on the power forward tier list and then like i'm not going to say a specific example for shooting guards but anyone that's shooting guard slash small forward will be over on the shooting guard tier list that i did earlier so let's get started i also try to rank between next and current gen try to be as unbiased as possible factor in like all play styles things like that so let's get underway cam reddish honestly i don't even know why he's still on this list i should have probably removed him but uh yeah trash tier we needed a new cam reddish card because cam reddish is always fire in 2k and when this card came out he was a beast but look dude we're in june right now <laughs> this card came out in the draft packs when was that the beginning of the season sometime in like the fall i think yeah this it's it's been a long time uh aaron neesmith shockingly dude b tier like he's actually pretty good personally i think he plays better at the shooting guard position but regardless like the small forward position for the most part is a desolate wasteland once you get past like b and c tier and i do generally think this card is too good to be in c tier Great badge count, uh, Ray Allen base. He's actually a really good jump shooter. I love Ray Allen base, so. I rank cards a little too high that have Ray Allen base sometimes, just because I enjoy the jump shot a lot. But this card's actually really good, shockingly. Uh, Alex English, I still think he's like low end B tier. On current gen, he can't shoot from the corners, I believe. I'm not from, that's tough. I don't think he can, but on next gen, he's relatively good. I would put him in B tier. I think he's still better than a lot of the C tier guys will have. Uh, yeah, I mean, LeBron. Let's just get him out of the way quick. He's no question S tier. I mean, he might actually be the best card in the game. Just depends what your play style is and how you feel. Um, he's better. Actually, it doesn't really matter, dude. He's not necessarily worse or better on next gen or current gen, dude. He's fire on both. He's literally like the best card in the game on both gens. It doesn't matter. Uh, Brent Barry. D. I like this card a lot, but generally speaking, I think he's n just not good enough to be in the C tier. He's still a good three and D, small forward, six foot seven, good jump shot. Brent Barry's tight. I believe he, yeah, he did participate in a dunk contest. I think it was like what was it, ninety seven or ninety eight, which is hysterical to think about. Brent Barry being in a dunk contest is super funny. Uh, Carmelo. I don't think he's a top B tier card. Like, he'll be down towards the bottom, all said and done, but he's still good enough to be there. He can play the two guard, and he's actually pretty good at that, regardless if he can't shoot from the corners. Like, it doesn't really matter. Karan Butler, D. He's outdated. He was pretty solid when he came out, though, but my man Karanic Butler just screams D tier. I, I would use Brent Berry over him, actually. Cedric Maxwell, he's outdated, but he's still got a really good jump shot, and I think that, like, should you be using him at this point? No. Are there situations maybe you can get away with using him? Yeah. I would put him down in C tier. I mean, if I put, um, what's his name, Havelcheck in C tier on, did I put him in C tier? I can't even remember if he was C or D. He might have been D tier. But like D tier, the shooting guard tier list is probably like C tier of the small forward tier list. That makes sense. Uh, Connie Hawkins, yeah, he's trash. 
He shouldn't be here either. I just forgot to remove him, so trash tier. Danny Granger. I like Danny Granger too much to throw him in F tier, but he's like D tier. Like, if he's fully badged up, he's probably still D tier, low end C tier, but this card was so fire. And we just don't get a lot of cards with base 29 anymore, so I think that's why I have like a nostalgic feeling for this card. I, I don't know. Uh, Desmond Bain. Bane's not bad. I, I really don't think he's bad at all. I'm considering putting him in B tier because I do like the card. Um, I'm actually shocked, dude. A lot of these rewind cards are a lot better than I thought they were going to be. They're all like ungodly expensive for no reason, but Bane's good. I mean, there's not really much he needs. He's much better on next gen because of that Hall of Fame study. He has a uh, jump shot 83, which is a weird release. He's the only person who has it. And it's really not bad. Like, I'm almost tempted to throw him in B tier. I will but he will drop down first before anyone. No, I take that back. Carmelo will. I just, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like him. Detlef, I would put him in C. I'd use Desmond Bain over Detlef Shrimp. <laughs> you know, what's crazy is that one time this dude was an S tier small forward, like two months ago. That's wild. Okay, so this one right here actually hurts for me to do, but like Doug McDermott is B tier to the fullest, and I would be willing to say that he is the best card in B tier right now by a significant margin. And look, dude, you guys know I'm a Bulls fan. You know how much it hurts to praise any Doug McDermott card? Like, a lot, dude. I hate this man so much. Uh, Elgin Baylor is B tier as well. Uh, if he was in the shooting guard tier list, I think he'd still end up being in B tier. B tier just makes sense for him. He's got a really nice jump shot. He's an excellent jump shooter, but just a little bit too small to really get in that A tier. Once you see the guys that are probably going to end up in A tier, like, you'll understand, I feel. George Gervin. Yeah, he's just outdated. This card was a monster when he came out. No one really locked in for it because he was the double take set. Like, those cards were impossible to get at that point. Those packs were, if I remember correctly, absolutely terrible as far as odds. So, not a lot of people locked in for George Gervin. And most people were just like, they could have, but why would you at that stage in the year? So, uh, George Gervin. Other George Gervin. Dude, George Gervin's nasty. I'm going to put him in A for now. But I will say that he'll probably drop down once I start filling out A tier. Because I can think of like three or four guys that are definitely better than this card. So he might actually drop to B, but I'll keep him in A for now. He's got a big player build, good jump shot. I can't remember exactly what jump shot he has because he has a different jump shot than the Pink Diamond Gervin does. Only like a thousand people have this card, if even a thousand. I, I know that for a fact. Um, 51 Hoffs though, solid. Oh, he's got Gallo base. I love Gallo base. Yeah, he's a beast, dude. Only gold study that or gold dead eye. That's like the only thing I can knock this card, but man, he's good. Gerald Wallace. I'd put Gerald Wallace in C tier. If he's badged up, I mean he's still C tier. It really doesn't matter. He plays such good defense. And he's got that kind of Kawhi Scottie Pippen player build where he's like very muscular and wide, so he triggers those defensive animations a lot easier than like a skinnier card like an Alex English or somebody would do. So, for that reason, I'd put him in C tier, just because of that. <clears throat> Gerald Wilkins. I don't think he's quite A tier. I would put him behind Elgin Baylor. I might even put him behind Doug McDermott. I, I like, am shocked how good this Doug McDermott card is. I'd put him, like, right here in B tier. Uh, Glenn Robinson, F for now. He might even move to trash. I like this card, but uh, I think the guys in F tier are going to end up being better than him. If he has shooting badges attached, he's probably D tier. But straight out of the box, probably F. Glenn Rice. B. I think Glenn Rice B tier makes sense. He's really good. Like six foot seven, good jump shot, moves really well, defends well. I just don't think he's quite A tier. I would put George Gervin and uh, Glenn Rice kind of next to each other, so I'll put them both in B tier for now. Uh, Gordon Hayward. He's better than Doug McDermott. I would put him like right here. Good jump shot. Um, six foot seven. He plays good defense. Like he's lanky. 99 call the police tendency, which is pretty tight, um, if you need that. Andrew Wiggins is A tier, no question. He's borderline S tier. Like, I'm not even kidding. Um, I just think he's more of a 3 and D cone, and that's kind of what stops him from being S tier. And when you see the guys in S tier, like, he's not on that level, but he's super close. Wiggins is crazy good. And he's got jumps. he got base 22. You know how I love base 22. Uh, Grant Hill. Grant Hill's C tier. He's good. Um, he's not quite in the B tier level. Like, I still would use somebody like Mello, Alex English, Desmond Bain over him. But uh, he's pretty solid, dude. I wish he could shoot a little bit better. Harrison Barnes. 
so this Harrison Barnes I would throw in C tier, low end C tier. He's still good. I'd probably use him over Detlef. Like, he's solid. This Har Harrison Barnes is nice, though. Like, I would put him right here in the middle of B tier. He's a really good card. Very expensive, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I believe he... Is he... Yeah, he's super expensive, I'm pretty sure. Is he the one with the... Hold on, I gotta double check and make sure that this is the one that's not a lock-in. No, that this one's an actual drawable one. Harrison Barnes' base is actually fun. If we get, like, a good Jaleel Okafor card... <laughs> I know... I shouldn't be saying those words, but if we do, and he has Harrison Barnes base, he might actually be like a legitimately good big man in this game. Hedo Turkaloo, D. I'm so disappointed. If they gave this dude Axum base, he would have been one of the best small forwards in the game and still potentially usable to this day. Even if they gave him like a Mari Stoudemire base. Oh, wait, is that what they gave him? I can't even remember what he had, but he has like a, the ugliest release. I personally can green it, it's just not very good. I can't remember what he has. He has Aldridge base with Rudy Gay upper, but it's just like so... Whatever they did to Aldridge base this year, it's just so bad. Like, even Marbury... Or Marbury. Even, like, Kobe base would have been fine. Um, whatever release Costas Antigonupo has is very similar to, like, base 11 from last year, so that would have been a fine release as well. And I get what they were doing with Aldridge base because it's typically good, but it's just not good this year. It can green, though. Like, it's usable in the right hands, but for the majority of the player base, that's not it. Jimmy Butler, A. Uh, yeah, Jimmy Butler's a beast. I would use him over everybody in B tier. He's that good. Wiggins, I think, is a little bit better, but uh, they're pretty similar, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Jack Marin. Yeah, this hurts. Um, I don't even know if I'd put him in... Yeah, I would put him in C. Like, he's still good enough to be C tier. Jack Marin's solid. I would use him over Detlef, Cedric, and uh, Gerald Wallace, probably. Yeah. LeBron Bron. Uh, B. I mean, yeah. LeBron's good, but I don't think he's quite A tier anymore at this point. He might be. Yeah, let me fill out A tier a little bit. I know I'm going to get slandered for dropping LeBron too high, but I just don't like this card that much. Uh, especially on next gen. He can't shoot from the corners. He plays small forward, power forward. Majority of the player base is using either Pelicans or Hawks Freelance for the most part and just running kind of a five out for their offense. And having a guy that cannot shoot from the corners like actually hurts your squad. And there's good enough small forwards at this point that I can kind of judge him on that without just putting him high because everybody sucks, you know? Uh, James Ennis. I mean, C. He's all right. He's not very good, but uh, I would use him over all the guys in C tier, right? If I'm being honest, if we got an updated Jack Marin card, I would use him. James Worthy. A. I love James Worthy. I'm probably ranking James Worthy too high. And look, before you even say anything, absolutely no question would I use James Worthy over LeBron James. No question. Um, the only card that I might think twice about it would be Glenn Rice, because I like Glenn Rice. Um, but like everyone else at the small forward, maybe George Gervin, because I like Gallo base a lot. Like maybe I'm thinking about these two guys, but that has a lot more to do with how I feel about their jump shots than anything. James Worthy is a beast, so I would put him in A tier. Jarrett Culver, he's not good. But, like, C tier, I think. He's got terrible hot zones, though, but he does have, like, that Trey Burke base. We need a new Jarrett Culver. Uh, Paul George? Yeah, trash. He's just outdated. You know what? I will do this, actually. Glenn Robinson, trash. Nah, I like Glenn Robinson. You know what? Yeah. I'll, I'll keep him in F. He's still, like, usable enough, I guess. Timothy, I'm not even going to try to say his last name. Uh, D. He's all right. Fully Evo, D solid. It's not worth the time, though. Jeremy Grant. Oh, Jeremy Grant's high B tier. I actually like this card. Yeah, I'd put him right here. I think he's better than Elger Baylor. At the small forward position, I think he is better. But, like, I'd still use Gervin, Glenn Rice, probably even LeBron over him, but he's still really good. Uh, this Jimmy Butler, D. Like, for sure. I would use, like, all the guys in C tier over this Jimmy Butler. I like Jimmy Butler a lot. I don't know, dude. Yeah, he wasn't even that highly ranked when he came out. He's got 17 Hoff badges. <laughs> like, it's bad. Joe Harris. Joe Harris is C-tier. Doesn't mean he's good. C-tier is like, there's a lot of uh, meh going on in C-tier. So he deserves to be there. Joe Ingles, he can shoot. F-tier. I'd still use all the D-tier guys over him. Josh Akogi. He is not very good, but he's good enough that he's in C-tier. That's all I can really say about him. Ah. Julius Irving. Uh, yeah, B tier somewhere. 
Uh, right around like Elgin Baylor area. Like he's got a good jump shot. He dunks over everybody. He plays good defense. Not quite ARS tier, but solid nonetheless. I'm a big fan of Dr. J this year. Shockingly, I usually am not. Andre Igudala. Yeah, where's Josh Akogi at? Right there. Yeah, right here. Andre Igudala. Both Igudalas go right there. I actually prefer the Diamond Igudala. I think he's better. Um, he's a little bit better of a shooter, whereas this Igudala is a little bit more athletic. Um, this one also lowers your overall a little bit more, so I'll put him ahead of the Opal one. And he's significantly cheaper. So, Anthony Edwards. Where's Elgin Baylor? Yeah, like right next to... Elgin Baylor has a better jump shot, so I'll use him over Anthony Edwards. But B tier. Anthony Edwards is solid. If you like Anthony Edwards, I mean, this is a good card to pick up. I don't necessarily think he's that tight, but, I mean, if you want to use him, go for it. I don't... I don't shame people for using the cards they like, okay? F... F, Tobias Harris. I'll use Connie Hawkins over him. I don't even care. Junior Bridgman. This card, easily one of the most underrated cards from that season. Put him, like, at the bottom of C tier by Jarrell Wallace. I actually would use Bridgman over Jarrell Wallace because he has a better jump shot. So, Kenrick Williams. I mean, fully evo he's, like, bottom of the barrel, like, D tier. Plays good defense. That's about it. Maybe I'll put him in F. I don't know. Brian Russell. He's a Scottie Pippen clone. A good one. If we get another Brian Russell card, he'll be pretty good. He has great defensive animations. I always think that he has, like, Dennis Rodman, like, the uh, shaved blonde hair, but it's just his card art, and he's bald. If he did, he had that Cisco hair from, like, 1997. I put him up in C tier just based on that. <laughs> Justice Winslow. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Justice Winslow, at one point, was, like, A tier for the small forward tier list. <laughs> Like, I think, like, two tier lists ago, because I do them every single month. And I want to say two months ago, Justice Winslow is legitimately an A-tier, borderline S-tier card. He might even have been S-tier. I'd have to go watch it again. I don't remember. But, yeah, C-tier makes sense for him now. Andrew Wiggins, still C-tier. Still good. Great 3 and D guy. He didn't even come out that long ago. Bailey Howell, A. A. Just under Wiggins. He's a Tracy McGrady clone. He's a white guy from the 60s. You know how 2K does. I don't know what their infatuation with white guys from the 1960s are. I, so my theory on white guys from the 60s and why 2K always makes them overpowered is because they know that they're going to have some, like, NBA PA issues in the future, maybe. So they're going to have issues with, like, more current players or they're going to lose rights to the current players that are, like, exiting the league or something like that. So they're trying to hype up these guys from, like, the 60s, 70s, 50s in-game so that they can use them to sell packs later on. Because, like, someone like Bailey Howell, like, if in 2K22 we have a pack that's headlined by Bailey Howell, the player base is going to know Bailey Howell is fire, right? So we're probably going to open packs for that. So that's kind of what I think they're doing with a lot of these, like, random white guys. The, him, Terry Dissinger, Jack Marin, um, Danny Ferry. Obviously, he's not from the 60s, but guys like that. They're just trying to hype these randoms up so that they can sell packs with them in the future. That's my theory, anyway. Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, S tier. He's like a better version of Wiggins, basically, and Jimmy Butler. Like, he's the Apex 3 and D, 3 and D cone. Kawhi's a beast. Ray Allen base. He has those wide shoulders, and he's got a muscular frame, so he triggers, like, the defensive animations. Like, when you try to drive past um, guys like Jimmy Butler, um, Scottie Pippen. Who's another one? Ben Wallace. When you try to drive past those guys, um, you end up triggering that animation where they get in front of them earlier because of their player build. Their hitbox, essentially, for lack of a better term, is bigger than a normal player's. That's why they're so good defensively. Uh, next up, Kelly Oubre. C. He's all right. Uh, yeah, around Grant Hill, Harrison Barnes area. Probably use Kelly Oubre over him. Joe Harris is wet, though. I'm using him. Kevin Durant. S tier. I mean, it's KD. I'm not the biggest KD fan in game, but, like, do I need to explain this one? Are you guys going to fight me on Kevin Durant being S tier? I generally feel like you won't, so I'm not going to go into it. Kiki Vanderwee? No. F. Just not good. Give us a new Kiki Vanderwee, dude. Like, he was one of my favorite Opals last year. The TTO reward, Kiki Vanderwee? Fucking chef's kiss, dude. That card was sick. Uh, this LeBron? D. Yeah, even no, he's better than Hito. No, Hito has a better badge count. I put him after Danny Granger. Uh, Larry Bird. This card's actually pretty solid. I would put him in like C tier. He's like a pretty average Larry Bird card. 
No, I'd put him down here because I think there's actually an Opal Larry bird that might be a little bit better that I'll probably put in C tier. So I put him at like the apex D tier guy. Larry Kanan, beast, B tier, no question. I think Larry Kanan might have been A tier at one point too. But uh, Larry Kanan's good. Very good. Uh, not much else I can say. Latrell Sprewell. Oh, yeah. Latrell C tier. He's a beast, dude. There was like a long period of time where when it came to TTO, my TTO lineup had Latrell Sprewell in it for a while. And that uh, that's due to a combination of things. Um, he's actually like a pretty good card. Um, he choked PJ Carlissimo um, and then brought a 2x4 to practice to try to hit somebody with it. It's pretty sick. Um, he also had a signature shoe with Dada that had spinning rims on the side. Which, like, if you were of age in 2004, you know it was literally the hottest basketball shoe to ever exist. So all those things dictate C tier for Latrell Sprewell. And I hope we get a new Latrell Sprewell card pretty soon. Uh, Sean Marion. I mean, he's, like, not good. I would put him, like, D tier. Around Hito, he's good, but he has a bad jump shot. Somewhere around there. Lou Hudson, F. Lou Hudson sucks. Where's that one guy on my channel that hypes Lou Hudson? I'm sorry to do this to you. Uh, Michael Porter Jr., D. Like, he's alright. No, this is not the Dark Matter one. It's the Inferno one. Like, he's pretty solid. I would put him up with, like, Larry Bird. Otto Porter Jr. <sighs> Another part of the awesome Vucevic trade that we uh, took part in. I mean, where's Josh Okoge? He's alright. Like, C, I guess. But bottom barrel C. Patrick Williams, same thing. I think he's actually better, though. I'd put him, like, up here. This card's actually a bucket getter. He's good. Paul George, uh, A tier. It depends how you feel about Paul George or basically Paul George base or base 22 on if Paul George or Jimmy Butler is ranked higher. I'll say majority of the player base prefers Paul George, so I'll actually put him up here. Um, I'll rank him ahead of Bailey Howell as well. So I'd put him like A tier. I think Wiggins is, is better though. I, I really do. Paul Pierce, yeah, I mean, he's just bad. I'd put him like C tier. Nah, I'd use Jack Marin over him. C makes sense. Michael Porter Jr. Where is Michael Porter Jr. going to go is an excellent question. And I honestly think it's S tier. Like, I, I truly believe this card deserves S tier. He's so... <laughs> I hate this card so much. Um, a, he's a gatekeeper to Bull Bull, which is annoying. And also, he's literally a god. Like, this card is so good. I put him S tier. Yeah, he's better than all the A tier guys, no question. Peja, D. Uh, Rick Barry, D. Yeah, Rick Barry's actually pretty good, though. I'd use him over, like, all these guys. Over Peja as well. Use him over Larry Bird. Sean Elliott, C tier. Sean Elliott's still a beast. I, I don't really care what anyone says. Is he B tier? No. Is he good? Yeah, of course. Dark Matter Invincible Jason Tatum. S tier. I don't like Jason Tatum in game, but this card's stupid. Now, should you go get 4,000 cards and try to get this card? No, absolutely not. No, do not do it. I promise it's not worth it. By the time you end up getting Jason Tatum, if you haven't already, which the only people who this is worth it for are people who have Jason Tatum already. And I don't even think it's worth it for them, to be honest. But by the time you actually get Jason Tatum, there's going to be like a million and a half Invincible cards. Like 2K is not shy about releasing Invincible cards this year. Last year with the GOAT cards, I don't think there was that many. I think there's like 15 total. Let me see if I can run them down. Shaq, Wilt, Larry Bird. Did Steph get one? I think Steph had one as well. Um, MJ, Tracy McGrady, Yao, Kareem, uh, Bill Russell. Bill Russell was good. Hakeem, John Stockton, Iverson, I think. Did Iverson have a go card? Either way, there was like 15 of them. This year, we're easily going to have like 20 plus. So, just think about that. Oh, I have Sean Marion in here twice, apparently. Okay, well, was, whatever. Terry Dissinger. Where's Jack Marin? Yeah, he's still C tier. He's not good, but you know. TJ Warren. Dude, I really like TJ Warren, and I'm almost convinced. Yeah, dude, you know what? I'm going to put him in A tier. I, I don't really care. TJ Warren's still really good. I think he's better than all the guys in B tier. I, I really do. Yeah, I mean, let me know what you think about TJ Warren down in the comments, but I think he's that good. Will Barton. D. All right. Yuta, I almost said Yuta Tabuse. It's Yuta Watanabe. He's not that bad. What's his jumper? That's going to be the key. He's not in trash tier. Don't worry. I'm going to move someone down in trash tier, though, just to even things out. 
No, I don't really think any F tier guys deserve to be in trash, though. What is Yuta's jumper? That is going to... Because his badge count is not good. Like, it's like 24. He has pretty solid hot zones for what he does. He has base 20. Who has base 20? Matisse Thibel and Justice Winslow. Fire jump shot. Uh, terrible badge count. Wow. Okay. Yeah, all right. So if you badge Yuta up, um, I would say if he's badged up, right? Because he doesn't have blinders range extender flexible difficult shots or dead eye um and then when you look he has no dribbling badges he has gold clamps and um, really no interceptor no lightning reflexes no worm wow okay no finishing badges whatsoever this card sucks dude 2k why would you make us do this long terrible grind for such a bum card like if he's batched up, he's probably, like, borderline C-tier. Like, he's got a good release, like, you know, if you spend the badges on him, he's probably up here, right? But until you do that, he is, like, F-tier, dude. This card sucks. Like, and I want this card to be good. I really do. But there's nothing I can do. I don't know what to tell you guys. So let me know what you think down in the comments or the live chat. And uh, let me know if you agree, disagree. What do you think about S-tier? What do you think about A-tier? What do you think about B-tier? Which one of the cards do you think should go up? Which ones should go down and vice versa? You know, where would you put some of these cards? As always, it has been your boy Cheap Loots, and I'll be back with another tier list later. Get ready for the power forwards. Peace.